there was a moment where I was sitting on my chair and I was about to light a candle. And as I lit the match, I became so mesmerized by the fire. All I was focused on was on the fire. Then I thought to myself, how close can I get my hand to the fire? How long can I hold this match for? And I began to watch the fire slowly creep up. And I had about half an inch left till he reached my finger. But before I knew it, I felt the heat and I just threw the match. And luckily the fire went out before it landed on the ground. But the thing is, I felt the heat before the fire actually touched my hand. In fact, the fire never touched my hand at all, but I definitely felt the heat. I felt my fingers begin to burn before I visibly saw the fire touch my hand. The thing is, if your hand is on fire, it's too late. So what it was, it was a reflex of my hand telling me that you better move your hand out of the way. You better move me out of the way because you're going to get burnt. But the reality is, if you play with fire, if you get too close with fire, you're going to get burnt. As it says in Proverbs 6 verse 27, Can a man scoop fire onto his lap without his clothes getting burnt? And this is the reason why God has laid down boundaries for us, why he has given us instructions in this life in order to help us build healthy lifestyles. It's not because he wants to ruin our fun or wants to make us lead boring lives. God is not like that. He's a God of life and love. But it's to help us build a healthy lifestyle. As you begin to look over the boundaries and the fences that are around you, just for the sake of exploring, experimenting, or your curiosity, and trying to fill that space in your life that only God can fill, you start to play with fire. As you look at unhealthier and poorer substitutes, such as pride, gossip, pornography, alcohol, drugs, sex, satis, fame, lazing around, you begin to find yourself in a place where it will destroy you, it will be your undoing, and you also find yourself in a place away from God, which is where you don't want to be. We could choose whether to play with fire and be destroyed, just like the fire of the match, slowly creeping up to your hand. Or we could choose to live in the fire of God and be consumed by the heart and the presence of God that fills you up. Which fire are you chasing today?